as is Randy, got another replay cast to try and show what I'm thinking during the game and uh, explain my strategies and thoughts. This is a game I played a few days ago, um, ranked game against Masper on the map, uh, I think it's called Daybreak Canyon. Very small map. Um, that's why I went for Guardian Commander. Extra HP and the uh, choices for weapons make it a good choice. The drones also often um, provide that sort of bit of DPS, maybe with scouting information, and uh, good for picking off units that don't have anti air. Okay, I found Cloaky. Uh, I think they're a good option on this map, uh, mostly because of their versatility. Uh, both Glaive, well, all glaives, reavers, ronins, and slings will all have some good use on this kind of map. So I opened two glaives just to get a quick scout off, followed up by a con to help my commander quickly get some energy out. See, he's uh, also clucky, not quick enough on my reactions there to pull it back. Still got this one up, so I can uh, important thing to see his lab. I can see he's still building glaives. It's a good bit of info. This glaive did see he was building a lotus up there. So um, I follow up with just a glaive production now. I've got gone out. So I'm able to defend on his um, his aggression with his glaives. Expand towards the middle with my commander instead of taking the more eco heavy south, just so I can kind of set up a post. Come here, just kind of blocks off this whole path, and then when I get when I'm a bit more stable, I can expand this way with a con. As he's uh, gone for more economy-based uh, expansion here. See, I'm holding my glaives back just because I know he has quite a few on the map. Just getting any information I can with this one glaive. Now I feel I've got a good number of waves to move out. There we go, good scouting from the drone. Let's me know exactly where he is. Just trying to hide, trying to draw him in a bit. And now at this point, quite happy where he's positioned himself. Now I'm thinking that I can kill all these glaives. Uh, his escape paths are here and here. I can cover this one off with the glaives. And the one to the west I can cover with the commander. The only problem now is he's got a couple of Ronin at the front. Which I don't really have an answer for at the moment, so I'm just going to ignore them, except they'll do a bit of damage. Just going straight on killing off these glaives. A little bit of micro mistake there, having one glaive far ahead of the rest. It means I lost a bit more than I needed to. Drone coming in handy again. Nearly killing a Ronin. A couple of Ronins out for myself, I'm upgrading my commander. And I'm going for the um, missile launcher. Rocket launcher, sorry. There's two main options I normally go for on the Guardian Commander, either the missile launcher, uh, rocket launcher, which I've gone for, or the riot cannon. Riot cannon is good for dealing with glaives, splash damage, big open maps where your commander might get uh, caught out on his own. But this map, I'm not too worried about that. It's very narrow. I can um, put a reaver with him, and they'll be quite safe from a glaive swarm. Uh, it'll be hard for him to surprise me with the swarm as well. So I'm going to get the missile, the rocket launcher, uh, just so I can use that to deal with Ronin better. And later on, it'll help me uh, outrange laser towers. So now with my glaives, I can start to get aggressive down this side, see if he's expanding down here. And uh, now I'm a bit more comfortable units wise. I've put out another con to try and take these mechs now. I've seen he's not expanded to here. Don't really want to go into this area because the waves probably won't survive. I'll just be feeding him metal. Yep, got a few Ronin out now. Securing this middle area. And I know I should be getting ahead in eco now. Both on about five mechs. And I'm getting some more. I'm bringing my commander to try and block. Blocking getting these mechs. 
to try to fight slaves without the reaver first, and then when they've moved away, I'm going to swarm on his reaver. Kill that off. And reinforcements should tidy this up. So another victory, so I build a few more cons just so I can uh, use them to guard, reclaim, basically get a small advantage and then use it to get further ahead econ economically. Commander gets to reclaim this. At the same time I'm using that little metal boost to upgrade uh, the range on him. We should be able to outrange these two lotuses so soon. So I see sense I'm running up here, so I just switch around where my glaives and Ronin are. Ronin to deal with the commander and Lotus. Glaives to deal with his Ronin. Now I'm a bit worried of a swarm at the moment, so that's why I just put a Lotus down. If seven or eight glaives came out, my commander wouldn't deal too well with him with the uh, rocket launcher. So that's why I just put this Lotus there. Meanwhile, sending a Reaver to go and join the commander. Then I basically got no fear that he could kill it. Meanwhile, taking all these. He's only just getting these now. Being careful not to get drawn into the reaver back with my waves. I can see he's moving northbound now. Picking off that reaver is quite expensive, that trade. Not sure if it was the best idea. But I'm going to put out a couple of uh, slings now just to try and uh, push this pressure back. It's quite an open area, there's no uh, mountains in the way. So, some slings back here. Should be able to push anything out here. Now the commander's got his uh, two range on his targeting system, he can outrange the lotuses. Trying to position him now in a way to take out these. A little bit tricky with the terrain. Yes, I'm happy now. This is all secured. Let's build another lotus here just so I can't um I can kind of uh, forget about this area a bit. So things will push it back and I can go straight and push it through the south now. Again, I don't want the Reaper to go too far, that's the commander's bodyguard. Just really want to pick off the Conjurer. Two Lotuses mean that this area is kind of secure with just Ronin and Slings picking away at him. Probably let my Reaper go a bit far away from my commander there, it's probably a little bit exposed. Bringing him back now to guard. Now there's not really been many big battles this game. Level 4 now has the riot cannon. It's kind of been just a slow methodical... more like a chess game. And that's that.